What's going on guys? My name Mitch here bringing you a video today talking about West Virginia Signing Day. Um, this happened last week. I think it's on like a Wednesday. And um, I'm pretty excited. I usually don't watch Signing Day because, you know, it, I don't know. They that's, To me it seems like a little overhyped the guys because there's never no team that says, well, we didn't get the guy we wanted or we were disappointed in our in our recruiting class. Everybody says that their class is what they wanted and they got everybody they wanted. And there's not a lot of teams that, you know, just just say, oh, I don't, you know, we had the, we picked the wrong guys and the wrong guys committed, blah, blah, blah. But that, I mean, but this year's recruiting class for WVU uh, makes me pretty excited. Um... They got some help help on the offensive line. Um, they got them uh, two new quarterbacks, a really good running back from Durham, North Carolina. Um, you know, um, just I I don't know. I think that these guys, all these guys that committed, has a chance to play, and if not, they will. The years coming. Maybe even next year, you know. Um, I like to see at least one of those quarterbacks get redshirted. I don't think, uh, I think William Crest will get redshirted. I mean, I don't know. We'll see how he works out because you know they need bodies there. Um, four Childers is gone, so you know that that sucks. So William Crest is the freshman. Then Skylar Howard, which is a big quarterback, um, something that Clint Trickett doesn't have um, is size you know, um, weight, I guess you could say, or muscle, or, I, I don't know, but he, he doesn't look, he, he's really tiny, so, um, Skylar Howard, he's a, um, shoot, you go, you look him up on YouTube, you can find him, uh, just type in Skylar Howard, and you can find some of his videos, and, uh, if you, if you don't know who I'm talking about, if you're already, you haven't seen the videos before, but, um, He's really good. He he come from uh, California, where he was a where he went to junior college at. But he's from like Fort Worth, Texas, I believe, and he knows a little bit of the air raid offense. And um, I'm pretty excited about that. Um, now we have two senior quarterbacks, which one of Marty Major Clint Trickett and Paul Millar coming into this season. And those guys had one of them has to step up. And play ball. We can't run a two quarterback system like we did last year. I think that was a lot of our offense's problems. We did not have a leader at quarterback. Um, also, in this recruiting class, we got a couple safeties and defensive backs. Um, Fair, I think, I think it's Fairbanks or something like that. Um, looked pretty good at safety. He also plays like wide receiver or running back or something, which, you know, if, that's, if he doesn't work out safety, we probably use him at at wide receiver or something. Um, but, you know, I mean, like I said, this is the first time I really watched this year's class. So, I mean, there's probably a lot of guys I'm not talking about, but, like, you know, I'm just pretty excited about this class. And, I mean, the guys that are coming in, they look like they can come in and step up and do a pretty good job. Um, you know, West Virginia as a whole, uh, and offensive-wise, I and mean, the run game is better this year than it was last year. But they, they, they didn't do what they should have done. They had chances to win games they shouldn't have won, or that they should have won. But you know, it is what it is. I'm pretty excited about this draft class. I'll link the whole draft class down in the description. I think West Virginia, last time I looked, were 37th in the recruiting, and from a terrible season we had last year um it's pretty good pretty good recruiting i'm happy with the recruiting situation going on at west virginia right now but you know that's really about it guys uh, mountaineer mitch sign out peace